what is happening, good people. I'm about to head out the door in a couple of minutes here after I do this vlog, of course. I want to remind everybody, first and foremost, that Arknoia and the Doctor slash Music Maniacs will be live at 7 p.m., our usual time and station. Me, Arknoia, YR, and Keith will be taking a look at music's most respected and celebrated keyboard players. And uh, I have my list ready to roll for tonight. I have some who are well known, some who are not that well known, and some who deserve to be known. They're all included on that list there. That'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on my channel, my arts channel, and Arknoia's channel. Definitely come in and hang out. I want to dispute a little something here that's being made by the um, social media and news outlets across the internet. And yes, this pertains to Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars a couple weeks back. News outlets have been calling this the slap heard around the world. When actually it is the third slap that's been heard. And I'll explain, especially to the kids out there who are younger. In 1982, wrestling legend Jerry the King Lawler and Andy Kaufman from the show Taxi were guests on David Letterman's old NBC late night show. Kaufman was moonlighting as a pro wrestler in the promotion that Lawler was working for. He was billed as a heel. He was the bad guy. He was side by side by heel manager Jimmy Hart years before he joined the WWF. The two had a match. Lawler pile drives Kaufman to the canvas and supposedly injuring his neck. The two appear on Letterman's program, Kaufman wearing a neck brace. Kaufman is running his mouth about Lawler this, Lawler that, which prompts Lawler to get up from his seat and slap Kaufman right off of his seat onto the ground. That made a lot of news around that time there. Years later, Lawler would reveal on the podcast that that whole thing was a setup. It was part of the angle. It was actually uh, Kaufman's idea for Lawler to slap him silly. <clears throat> the second is in, was in 1985 on the show 2020, the ABC News program. John Stossel, who was a reporter for that show back then, did a report on pro wrestling, why it's so popular, what the fans like about it. And one of the people that he interviewed was Dr. D. David Schultz. Now Schultz, along with Rowdy Roddy Piper, was one of the top heels at the WWF, as it was called at that time. After interviewing Eddie Mansfield, a former pro wrestler turned trainer, learning how it was all done, the moves, the blading, and everything else. Stasso was interviewing Schultz, who was in full character that night. Stasso says, I think wrestling is fake, pissing off Schultz, provoking Schultz to slap Stasso, bam, on the right side of his face. Stasso gets up, only to be slapped again at the left side of his face. As a result from that, Stasso got permanent hearing damage, sued the WWF for a specific thousands amount of dollars, and Schultz unfortunately was let go from the company as a result. Huh. Wouldn't you know? Schultz got the boot for defending the business. I know Ole Anderson a couple years back tweeted that out. I felt the need to reply saying, hey, 
Should Schultz come back and uh, slap the shit out of the WWE's main roster for letting the business being exposed? His reply was, I wish he fucking would. So there you go. The two other slaps heard around the world. For those who are younger than I am. I also posted that on my Facebook not too long ago. Now, about to head out for the afternoon. Like I said, we'll be back to do our show. And I'll see you guys later on this evening. All right? What I'll be doing after the show is anybody's guess here. I'm thinking about possibly doing a techno stream if the shit doesn't fuck up on my OBS or streaming tab there. Hopefully there'll be no problems this time. In the meantime, leave your thoughts and comments below about what I just said. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.